Namaste, beautiful yogis. Welcome to Ali Kamenova Yoga. I'm Ali, and today we're doing a class called Coffee Cup Third Eye. We're going to do a coffee cup style, uh, faster pace class, and we're going to need a simple object for the third eye activation, meditation, concentration, focus. At the end, a simple object, whatever you choose, spoon, leaf, something that you can focus your gaze eye on for a certain amount of time as a focusing exercise which over time can help you uh, create a focused mind so not as opposed to a mind that just runs in every direction learns uh, runs in loops if you think of your mind in terms of how computers operate you only have a certain amount of data that you can be using and if you're constantly running the same repetitive thought patterns that are lower mind, um, then very little energy is left or little space is left for developing your intuition, intelligence, higher intelligence, higher thought, um, um, vision, inner vision or higher vision, etc., clairvoyance, etc. Um, developing the third eye can build a very strong mind in the sense of higher intelligence, um, beyond logical or rational intelligence, beyond just intuition, uh, just the higher wisdom. Uh, so, uh, so developing it via exercise and uh, focusing exercises can be very beneficial. Obviously, it can affect our vision as well, since this is the vision program. So we're going to do that briefly at the end. I'm not going to make it very long for the theme of this class. Let's begin and let's flow with love, strength and ease. Starting at the front with running in place and swaying, swinging, moving your arms, bringing movement. Circular with the arms. Backwards. Twisting moves. High knees. Hopping on one leg. Back and forth on the mat. Change the leg. All right, we're gonna hop in and out of the mat. Use your entire your entire foot, so you're gonna step on your foot. Good, good. And a few heel drops. I'm doing them a little faster, but not the, blah, blah, not the last. You can exhale through the kind of horse lips to relax the, the jaw. All right. As I used to say in the 11 years ago in these classes and before that in person, a lot of the yoga looks weird, but it does wonders. Coming into still stand. Big breath in, reach over the head. Exhale, dive. Inhale, look ahead, blank. We're going to step the feet a little further apart than hip and we're going to reach across, right hand across to the left under the opposing shoulder and change and you're gonna look across use your eyes keep moving with your breath great chaturanga up dog chaturanga down dog. 
spread the fingers open, breathe. Inhale the right leg up, step it through, right arm up, left arm down, twist and reach over your head, rotate that right rib cage over the left, press the back heel away from you, lengthen, reach. From here, come up to standing and glide the right hand down the left leg again, a twist here. Hands in prayer, twist again. <laughs> and step it back into one legged down dog, open the hip, bend the knee, drop it behind. Well thing. Two side plank, two knee tucks. Plank, chaturanga. Up dog. I'm doing my chaturangas from my knees. I'm sore from yesterday's chaturangas. So I'm just doing oh, as much as I can. I'm sure my chest muscles are sure, sore. All right, left leg comes up. High lunge. Here we're going to glide first. Left hand down, right arm up. Right hand down, press the back heel away from you and straight up and reach ahead of you, rotating that rib cage. And coming up, prayer twist. Hands down, one like a down dog, open that left hip, left knee, drop it behind, wild thing. Plank. Whole plank. And let's go side plank, knee tucks on the right hand, left knee to left elbow. Again, plank, and we're gonna do hop back to plank, plank jumps, one, two, three, four, yogic squat, yoga makes us focus, yoga sequences, make us focus because we are our culture, forces us to be less focused, more distracted, short format, everything. So it's becoming important to focus on meaningful, deeper, longer format. All right, plank, chaturanga, up dog, Chaturanga, ooh, down dog. Inhale the right leg up, step it through. High lunge, from high lunge, left hand down to revolving half moon. Right arm up, 
Kill up. Both hands down, and we're gonna go deadlift to hop up, knee up. One, ten of those. Two, three, give it a hop. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, plank, chaturanga, up dog, down dog, take the left leg up, step it through, high lunge, right arm forward, revolving half moon, lift that back heel, lift, 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 Gives you really strong hamstrings. Twist and lengthen the torso, especially the left side of the torso here. Press the hip away. It's a game changer when I remember to do that. Both hands down. Bend the left knee slightly so that you can hop. Deadlift. Hop. Straight back. Three, four, and ten plank. Mountain climbers, one, two, four, six. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, plank, and on to all fours. We're going to glide the right hand, hand palm up under. Change. Plank. Step the right foot through here. Come up. High lunge. Grab your knee or your foot. Twist, step it back in a narrow lunge, hop, twist, knee or foot, it doesn't matter. Just focus on your balance. Narrow, hop, twist, hop, twist. Hop, twist, hop, twist, stay focused, when you look through your eyes, bring that tingly sensation around your third eye, activating, focusing um, on uh, that form of focus, focus mind, concentration. Keep going, hop and twist.
This is the last one. Step it into plie. We're gonna hop here. One, three, four, five, six. Twelve. Twenty. Let's do side. Reach over to side. Reach over. Side to side. Side to side. Side to side. To side breath of fire. onto your heels and breathe into your third eye area you can tap on it From here, we're going to demonstrate the first one. We're going to take that diamond push-up position. We're going to hop into a monkey push-up and sit back. Hop and sit back. Hop, push-up, sit back. Hop. Sit back, sit back, hop, sit back, hop, sit back, three more. Let's hop into um, squat position and take a few hops. I'm getting your little tingly for the twist. A few snowboarder hops and left leg forward level the hips right hand forward for revolving triangle reach lower down twist Step at the front, forward fold, halfway up, left leg back, left arm forward, level square, the hips reach, twist. I'm giving you a little bit of a funky order here for the focus part. If you get frustrated, shake it off, do whatever you want, come back <laughs> to the class. Some days our focus is Brilliant. Step at the front, forward fold, shake, and sit back. Let's go one more twist here. Left knee up, right leg down, twist. Change. Time for your object. And we'll do 
little bit of closing after the object meditation. Use a spoon or leaf or whatever else, kind of simplify it. Something simple to focus on. You could do a wooden, wooden spoon. Hold it at your third eye level, forehead level. In front of you at a half arm distance. Begin to focus on your breath and become really engaged, involved in the object. You're really, really absorbing the details. You're really merging with the details. So you're singularly focused. I'm gonna pause my talk for a few moments where you really focus your attention on something with undivided undivided attention. Your focus is fully there. You're absorbed by every detail that you're seeing. And you can close your eyes and leave the object by your side somewhere. And just bring back the image of your object into your mind's eye, into your imagination. And gaze at your same object built by your own imagination. If you wish to repeat this whole session, pause the video here, repeat it on your own a little longer, both intervals a little longer. You can gaze at your object for five, 10 minutes. Close your eyes for five minutes, whatever you have time for. I'm doing it a little shorter for the purposes of the class, but you can pause. And if you want me to do longer, let me know but you can do it on your own and really know that this is really building your inner focus. And yes, we're focusing on the spoon, but in life we're going to be able to notice things and develop the higher mind, the wisdom, the genius within. So we're going to be able to see more, so to speak. So the third eye functions is a form of higher intelligence that we can use within day-to-day -day, um, life when we're or in our work when we're really doing things observing things learning in particular with focus from here we're gonna go into either a headstand or half a headstand or a headstand with a prop if you have a headstand stool or even a wall. I've been meaning to buy a stool and I never bought it. Maybe I will, um, but some form of a headstand here so that we can really kind of bring that focusing time into the third eye here.
and after a child's pose, forehead to the ground. Again, breathe and activate that area energetically. Coming up, let's go forward, bend. Bend the right knee, right foot into the upper thigh, forward fold, change. White legged. Side to side stretch. You can hold it for a breath. Change. Twist so you're going to face towards your right leg and behind. Use your gaze, change, and really press the opposing leg down. Easy pose, one more twist here. I wanna really <laughs> unwind us. Let's do the martial arts twist. Feet about a little wider than hip width apart. Heels down, hips moving, hands behind you, forehead behind you somewhere. Change. Let's lay down. Give me a pelvic tilt with Mula Bandha and a stomach vacuum. So you're going to exhale for it. And a few <laughs> pelvic tilts with Mulabanda in motion. So we're not holding it, we're just feeling the pelvis or the in the structure there, the bones, the fascia, pelvic floor, etc. All right, extend the right leg, left knee across. Oh. And change. And lay down. And for the entire course of the Shavasana, breathe with awareness of the third eye. So either guiding the breath through there or focusing your awareness in that area. And remember to flow with love, strength and ease. 